Hello, YouTubers, this is the Nubifar. As a content creator for Star Citizen, I've been blessed with opportunities to test the right gear and create what are hopefully useful, detailed videos filled with information for this community. I feel this needs to be done objectively so you're armed with the right information before you spend your hard-earned money. I've had a great opportunity to test 100% of Verpal's lineup to date, but this has resulted in a gap in my content. I wanted to fix that gap and show you a more complete picture, so I contacted VKB. This way I'll be able to compare the products directly against each other in a later video. Welcome to part 1, a detailed product overview of the VKB Gunfighter 2 gimbal and the current version of the Modern Combat Grip or MCG Pro. VKB SIM is a Russian controller manufacturer focused on the upper end of the spectrum. Their products are accepted as some of the best on the market. Because of demand, stock shortages have made them difficult to buy. Using great designs and quality material means the end user should expect years of uninterrupted service. Their design allows for user customization which a lower tier out of the box product can't achieve. This means that you can not only adjust how the controller behaves in software, but you can also physically alter the user experience. Like any low number high quality product, you'd expect very high expectations for my review. The VKB ecosystem is modular allowing you to mix and match your existing parts with new ones in the future. I'm going to start with the grip. The updated MCG was announced in 2017 after taking community feedback. VKB released three levels of MCG, having the same grip shape but different buttons and lever configurations. A major standout feature is a pair of mini analog sticks, similar to what you might get on an Xbox game controller. They're very easy to use with precision, even if you're making rapid course corrections with the main stick. The grip itself is made from good quality ABS plastic, and this is my only critical observation. There's probably nothing wrong with the choice of material. However, the grip is very lightweight and the plastic isn't worthy of that pro designation. I have felt cheaper sticks with the same plastic feel and I've felt grips that are at the same price with better. Some plastics have a more grippy, slightly rubber feel to them. Perhaps this is just my own personal taste coming through. I've always said that within our community, there are those who would pay for a higher quality product with the weight and feel of a proper replica. The adjustable grip rest is fantastic and offers a full range for small and large hands. It's comfortable, solid, and very easy to adjust. The MGC Pro has 24 individual buttons, a total of two analog mini sticks, an analog metal brake lever, a dual stage trigger, and a metal flip trigger. Some of the buttons have optional caps allowing you to choose gray or black. The concave stick is a precise joystick on a joystick. The convex stick is a point of view hat unless you press it and hold it for two seconds. After that, it changes into a two axis analog stick. This would be very suitable for controlling a cursor. The dual stage trigger is fine, but the star of the show is the metal flip trigger. When stowed, it activates button 24. When you flick it down, it stops with a satisfying thump, and it's one of the more satisfying triggers I've used on any stick to date. The rest of the hat switches and buttons work very well. I did, however, have trouble using some of the four-way switches without accidentally triggering unwanted commands. The grip is secured to the base using two cams attached by a bolt. Once attached, there's no flex whatsoever. The Gunfighter 2 is a two-axis frictionless gimbal with an external circuit box. The housing is aircraft-grade aluminum with a rubber dust cap, and although very pretty, its symmetrical design complicates things. The gimbal is very small and low profile. It can be mounted to the included desk plate or bolts up very nicely to MonsterTech mounts. Because it's asymmetrical, to attach it to a desk or chair mount would require two different parts. The external black box keeps the gimbal size down. The black box also has a bonus that it serves as a hub for other devices, keeping the USB port requirement very low. The gimbal is the real deal. It's a single cam, single spring per axis, fully mounted on ball bearings. Including the ones that are pre-installed, there are a total of five spring choices and two cam choices. The unit's very easy to take apart with a two and 2.5 millimeter Allen, plus a seven millimeter wrench. In the near future, please look for a full teardown and tuning video. The gimbal is smooth and tracks well without jiggle throughout the range. The center return is solid and as expected from a quality controller, I'm confident that with the supplied springs and cams, I'll easily find a profile that suits my needs. I'll close out on the software and my final thoughts after one week with the stick. The software is actually one of the better GUIs that I've ever seen. It's simple, intuitive and offers sliders and toggles to adjust to taste. So my initial impressions are, the VKB is a solid product, very well deserving of its great following. Its lack of a Z-axis is being addressed with the newly released Cosmosima Grip, which are bolt-on compatible with this fantastic Gunfighter 2 gimbal. I'm very happy with the unique mini-stick arrangement and the metal trigger. 
I was a little bit disappointed by the choice of plastic on a flagship grip. However, the buttons are clicky, solid, and enjoyable. Thanks very much for spending your time with me. Please stay tuned for a video detailing tuning and teardown. I think I'm in a rare position where I have all of the sticks in one place. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take all the gimbals and all the grips, throw them on the table, looking for pros and cons head to head. And then hopefully in the near future, VKB will give me an opportunity to test Cosmosima, the left and right grips tailored to space sim enthusiasts. Very exciting times. If you liked the video, please share it with a friend. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.